Did you get that? Did you hear all that? Did you hear that Indian talking about that woman getting raped in the metaverse? That was quite interesting, you know, that's made the metaverse a bit more interesting, if you know what I mean. So I spoke about it in the video and I wanted to show my viewers and my subscribers these black tits. But obviously YouTube, they don't allow like nudity, do they? So I said to the viewers, message me on Instagram and I'll send you a photo of these black tits. You know Coogan, yeah? he's got like post-traumatic stress disorder. Because when he was a kid, like he went to the swimming pool and like these little racist white kids like forced Coogan's head under the water. You know, and said, die, 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 you know, being a bit racist. You know, calling him the P word. It rhymes with purple aki. They were forcing his head under the water saying, die, die, die. You know what I mean? So Coogan now he's got like post-traumatic stress disorder. So he can't stand still. Is that fact? What I think is, is I think you stuck. Yeah, what do you think of her? What do you think of that woman there? Do you think she looks alright or what? Decent. Eddie and trying to get in there, isn't he? Trying to get in there. Is that Coburn? Yeah, Coburn's trying to get in there as well. <laughs> Posse and views. <laughs> So like going to see a therapist as a man, you feel like a bitch, don't you? You feel like a little hoe. You know, if you go to see a therapist, then you're a man. You know, you sit down with the little woman therapist. You know, you're talking about your little feelings and that. It might make you feel like a little bitch. Oh, ooh, I'm upset. Ooh, ooh, I'm, I'm emotional. I'm in my feelings, you know, ooh. I have little panic attacks, oh, I'm, I'm upset, but, you know, if it helps you, just do it, innit? You know, in bed, I'd pray, you know, to God, and I'd pray, you know, when I was about 15. I used to pray, and then I'd have a wank, because I didn't want to wank first, you know, and have a load of spunk all over me, and then pray to God, it's a bit disrespectful, innit? Those black ticks that I told you about, that a woman keeps sending me on Snapchat, you know, trying to convince me that black women are nice. She's been messaging me again, man. You know, trying to seduce me and that. She's trying to convert me, if you know what I mean. She's trying to turn me from white to black, yeah. One of them. It's like me spying with a Skype wanker. I know I messed him up, you know, smacked him up, really damaged him. But he went on and won a war title, didn't he? And what the? F I didn't. I didn't win anything. I fucked up. I fucked up, man. So who would you rather be? You know, the guy who got smacked up in sparring, but went on and won a world title and made millions. Or would you rather be the guy who won the spar? But didn't fucking do anything in boxing at all. Which one? It's one of them, isn't it? Yeah, that was a good run, you know. Sweating it out. Trying to get rid of this fucking horrible double chin, man. It's fucking horrible. Yeah, that was a good run, you know. It's time for some shadow boxing in my kitchen. I do this every day, you know, to fucking... <clears throat> Trying to uh, sweat out some alcohol, get myself in shape again. I want to have a little combat fight. Yeah. Uh, bang, bang! I love it. Mm, look at that. <laughs> That's quite good. Yeah. So That's why. Yep. Yeah. I've run off the scene, mate. I've run off the scene. You know these fuckers who I talk about, they fall, don't they? They they drop, they quit. Coogan said to Eddie and I can't get out of bed, you know what I mean? And partly that's down to El Chapahan, you know, cutting off Coogan's little drug money. 
but it's also me having a go at him, you know, and Coogan like rings me, you know, asking me to stop talking about him and that. He's like begging me. You know, the black quitter, he's kind of gone off the scene. You remember Wingy Boxing Wingy as well? I run him off the scene, man. Poor Phelps. Just in bed having a nice cup of tea. Nice little bounty. Some nice chocolate oranges. Some jelly beans. Listening to this drug cheat. No, that's way too heavy. Plane tickets, travel, accommodation. I know some of them probably get paid for them, but they've still... I buy wine and weed. I buy about five pounds worth of weed. A bottle of Echo Fours or Blossom Hill, that's a tenner. You know, and that's it. There's no expenses. There's no like overheads. You know what I mean? I'm not traveling all over. I'm just sat here. Andrew Tate. I've been watching him all day, you know. I'm going to have to start doing videos about that guy. R.I.P. Sonny Edwards. Destroyed him. Murdered him. Ended him. Do you know what I mean? He tried to come back with a few tweets. You know what I mean? I rattled him. I triggered him. He spent all day writing tweets about me, didn't he? Sonny Edwards. Smack up Sonny Edwards. No, he's too small. That's what I mean. That's why I haven't really been... I know I did a video about him, but... You know, if I seen him in the streets or whatever, I wouldn't, like, smack him up. He's too small, isn't he? It's, it's bullying. I'm not really a bully. But, you know, if he, like, if he started, I'd lay him out. You know, just like a woman, you know, women. There's a little saying in there, men shouldn't hit women, but I would happily lay a woman out. You know, she tried to put it on me. There's like a little trend, you know, of like women hitting men, you know, because they think they can get away with it. Yeah, have you seen that video of that fucking bus driver? That, that black woman's talking a load of shit to him. And he gets out of his chair and he like uppercuts her. And throws her off the bus. That was so enjoyable to see. The guy I was with, he was in a bedroom with the other woman. And I was in this other bedroom with this fat bitch. And I was in bed with her, I was getting like a blowjob in it. But the blowjob was shit. Which is a surprise, because you know fat women, they're supposed to be good at blowjobs. You know, to compensate for the fact that they're fat. So, I was getting a blowjob in it, but the telly was on. And like, you know that Carl Pilkington? He was on the telly with this little guy called Warwick Davis, this little midget. So because the blowjob was shit, yeah, I was like watching the program. I called the guy a midget, yeah. And that's like politically incorrect nowadays, you know, to say that, midget. And this fat bitch, I think she had like a sister who was like a, a midget. So she was offended, innit? So she like asked me to apologize or leave. And I just thought, oh, I'll just go. I started getting ready, getting dressed, and then I was like walking towards the steps, you know, to go down the steps, and she tried to like push me down the steps. You know what I mean? Trying to fucking violate me. So I had to kick her in her ribs. You know, I smashed that ironing board on her head. I remember you from before, you was... <coughs> no, that's piss. No, that's ridiculous. Bro, that's piss. That's disgusting. Bro. That's disgusting. No, that's not even funny, bro. I swear to God, that's not even fucking funny at all. No, that's fucking horrible, bro. Young enough for you know. About two weeks, I mean, it's too long. What is wrong with this fucking guy, man? No, I should be. 
He's giving me money, man. Why am I dissing him? Gays and that. It's him again, isn't it? RIP whoever pushes in front of Ty at a kebab shop, yeah. That guy got laid out who tried to push in front of me. A few guys tried to push in front of me. So I had to lay one of them out with a left hook from the gods. Uh, I took a few punches though. I'm going to be honest, I took them well. I've never been knocked out, you know. I've been stopped a few times, but that was just fatigue. Cougars' new podcast. Yeah, I watched the one with uh, Fabio Wardley. Coogan says, oh, I don't, I don't want it to be about boxing. And then the first question is, what got you into boxing? Do you know what I mean? Stupid. Man. It's dead, but at least it's free. You know, Hall Phelps, she's trying to charge us for that. And I've actually got, someone's leaked one of her OnlyFans photos, yeah? And it's not that impressive at all. Yeah, can you see that? I love your sunglasses. You look super cool, Ty. Right, shall I put him in time out? Okay, that. No, it's all right. Ty, when's the last time you went town? And which is the best club in Sheffield? The last time I went town was last week when I tried to piss on that woman who had like a little weird piss fetish. So I tried to piss in her mouth, innit? She was like squatted down with her mouth open. But I couldn't piss, it wouldn't come out, you know, because she was looking at me. But uh, yeah, prime marked up. That's why I wash my arse though, because like, you know, if you've got a dirty crack and you wear white pants, it's not, it's not good, is it? That's why we like younger women, you know, like Rosie Webster. Because they're fertile, innit? You know, women who are like 40 or 50, they're, they're like reproductively fucked. So, it's just how it is, innit? Sonny Edwards. He's five foot, yeah? Women like men are tall, you know, so they can protect him. Slide wasn't that good, was it? But, helps us pass a bit of time, you know, when we're waiting for to die. Gives us something to do in it, try and fill the the gap. Right, so I've got four spliffs. Shall I put a pump on under this or shall I go out? It's a bit chilly outside. Yo, get the fuck up, nigga. It's over. It's over. It's fucking over. It's time to go, man.